Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. In this video, I will be talking about workspaces in AutoCAD um, or also model space versus paper space. And I'm going to bring my notepad for this video and take a few notes for you. Okay, so I brought the notepad, let's resize a little bit. Okay, so um, workspaces in AutoCAD. So model space, and there's also something called the paper space. So model space is basically this area. I'm going to put the notes away. Um, model space is basically this area of AutoCAD. This is what you see when you start a new drawing. Um, and basically, this is where you would draw everything, where you would draw every single uh, plan elevation detail of your project so let's put a note here model space is basically I'm gonna call it also the drawing space you put all your drawings in this area okay so that's about the model space um, something quick to mention about the uh, model space model space is an infinite space you can zoom out as much as you want and you can zoom in as much as you want um, you can literally draw the world here of course you would need a very very fast computer to do to draw the world in detail here but what I'm trying to say it's literally an infinite space the only limitation is your computer capabilities to to be able to draw a lot on the model space okay so this is where you would put a floor plan, the elevations, and the details. All right, so that's regarding model space. Now, the paper spaces, and I'm going to bring the uh, notepad again, and paper space is basically the layouts. So see these layouts here? We have layout 1 and layout 2. And layouts is what we use to create, uh, to create um, our sheets or pages. You might hear uh, different terms here. So we said paper space, we're also seeing layout, and we're also seeing sheets and pages. Um, let's say you can, you, you can say that paper space, layout, sheet, page are kind of all the same in AutoCAD. Um, the only thing you would see a difference later on is sheet. It becomes a part of a special menu called the Sheet Set Manager. But that's beyond the scope of this video. But for the beginners, um, you can say that paper space, layout sheet, page, e are, are these areas right here. Okay, so layout one and layout two. So uh, we have only one model space in AutoCAD, but we have several uh, paper spaces in AutoCAD. So again, layout is the same as paper space. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say paper space in this video, but I mean layout. Okay, so you can have as many paper spaces as you want. You can click on the plus sign here and that will give you so many different uh, paper spaces or sheets uh, so imagine for example here we have a floor plan here we would have um, an elevation and this uh, page or paper space will have the details for our project so uh, so you can have as many as you want uh, of the layouts or paper spaces and again one model space okay so the layout, what the layouts are used for, this is basically what you print. If you look here um, and uh, how it looks like, you can see that there's a sheet here. You can see this dashed line. It represents the printing border. And inside it, there is this, um, this rectangle here or this window, which is a viewport. And viewport is what we use to look inside the model space and, uh, and focus on a certain area to put, uh, for example, a floor plan, to put an elevation. Let's see here, I'm gonna draw something very simple. Let's say 10 feet, oh, I'm very far. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So I'm gonna do 10 feet. I'm gonna do a simple floor plan, 10 feet, 10 feet, and like this. And I'm just gonna give it a thickness with the offset command. So this is a floor plan. And let's say I want to do an elevation of this. I'm going to do here same. I'm just aligning based on these lines. And I'm going to give it uh, 10 feet height. Let's do 8 feet height. So that way this elevation is kind of visible. Uh, to distinguish it from the floor plan. 
so this is let's actually give it a window I'm gonna add a line here let's see I don't have the midpoint so let's do something from here so two feet away and then another line two feet away from this point and this is a window and then I'm gonna use the line command reference it up to here um, and then just copy this line to the left or to the right sorry and let's do here two feet and up here two feet right and I can adjust these like this I can use the trim command here but I don't want to show it in this video so now we have an elevation of this floor plan um, and now we have two different areas um, so or two different drawings sorry and now I'm gonna go to layout one and I'm gonna focus here on the on the um, on the floor plan I already had here quarter scale and now I'm gonna go to layout two I guess I already had that set up earlier but I'm gonna anyway zoom out and look on the elevations uh, you can see the grid in the background is obstructing we can turn it off for this layout I'm gonna click here and then set the scale quarter lock it and now we have that so now you can see that on this sheet we had the floor plan again I'm gonna hide the grid for this one um, as well so here we have a floor plan here we have an elevation now you can imagine that we would have different pieces of information here and of course we can put uh, we can put actually the floor plan and the elevation on the sheet but we will need to fit them right now I'm inside the model space and I'm gonna move this a little bit to the bottom so this can fit together here or we can also do multiple view viewports here so I can have another viewport here for example uh, and it's only showing the elevation I'll extend this here and this I will minimize to here I will not detail how I'm using the viewports here that will be in a in a dedicated video for the viewports and for printing but I just wanted to showcase what we would use the layouts for basically this is what you would use to print out and again the model space is what you use for the drawing this is the drawing space and this is the printing space or again the paper space and that was it for this video about uh, workspaces in AutoCAD.